Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is over. So in this video, I'm going to be trying out my brand new default edit pack created by Tori. I'm not lying when I tell you this is easily one of my best texture packs I've ever had created. In fact, this is already my favorite default edit by far. I mean, it just looks so good. Before we get into the video, I'm also giving away one such speed Lunar Client Cape, but all you guys have to do is like this video, subscribe, and join my Discord server because I'll be choosing one person from my Discord server. So please stop spamming your IGNs in my comment section. But if you want to get your hands on this texture pack, make sure to watch this video all the way until the end because at the end, I will be telling you guys when I'm releasing it and how you can get your hands on it early. Aside from that, let's get into the so after coming up with designs and waiting three weeks i finally have my hands on my such default texture pack. Now myself and Tori have been working very hard over the last couple of weeks to come up with all of the designs for this texture pack. Now I'm safely using it here on 1.15.2, getting around four to 600 FPS. And when I was using it on 1.8, I was getting between one to 2000 FPS. Now I know a lot of you are wondering, Tom, wh wh where are you right now? What is this background? So today the people of Zaluria have brought me onto the server today. And essentially I'm gonna be exploring this brand new texture pack while getting a good start on my own town on this server. I'm basically going to be setting up my whole city and towards the end of this video as I mentioned I'm going to be letting you guys know how you can get your hands on the such fault 1.14 texture pack so make sure to watch until the end. Okay so we've started off in spawn here as you can see this is spawn. There is a lot of custom blocks that I'm not very aware of. I want to say a huge shout out to everyone who is completely memeing me in my last video for not knowing some of the common 1.15 blocks like the shulker or the power of the end crystals when you go to the end and fight the ender dragon. Now having said that, I thought it would be a good idea to increase my knowledge in Minecraft 1.15. So as you can see here, I'm stepping out of spawn. Oh my god, we're still rocking the old such speed cape. If any of you guys have this cape still, please let me know in the comments section because this is like a relic now. I mean, honestly, I kind of forgotten about it, although it, it was a very clean design. I really like the animation on Badline Client. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, we are on the Badline Client right now on the 1.15 version. Now essentially when you log into Zaluria, the IP is on the screen right now what you're going to want to do probably first read the rules before anything because you don't want to be breaking any server rules and getting yourself a ban like such speed did from bad line for two years but you're going to want to do what this little guy right here is doing and you're just going to want to jump in to the random tp if if he jumps in and wow damn this guy has a really cool skin that is super custom i actually really like that now as you can see here as you progress on the server and begin getting some wealth you'll be able to open some heroic crates of course there's always a simple alternative by visiting the store I'll leave a link down below in the description. But these crates are great to advance and get resources for yourself to progress on the server. Now I'm going to go through the random TP and we're going to see where this takes us. All right, so I've just teleported and Tori told me he customized some of the blocks. So I'm, I'm very interested to see some of these custom textures. Wait, what is this? Wait, what have I just ran into? I really don't play the latest version of Minecraft too much, but I think I've just ran into some llamas. I've never really played Minecraft on the latest version, so I'm not really sure what these are. But what happens if you punch them. They don't actually attack you at all. It, it's cool that it shows their health. But oh my god, they spit at you. The llamas spit back at you. Okay, so oh my god, they're spitting at me. These guys are actually just spit. What? It does half a heart. So it doesn't actually do damage, but they do spit at you if you attack them. I'm sure 90% of you probably already knew that. My Minecraft knowledge past Minecraft 1.8 is far worse than any of yours. But it appears we've just teleported near somebody else. So this says, oh, it says Rip. Rip, good vibes, 2020 to 2020. He was by Gruff May his soul rip gv's wheat chests as you can see on this server you can't simply open any chest now i wanted to quickly add because i found this kind of weird but i believe this server has a custom font because the font in my texture pack doesn't look like this so i'm assuming they've added their own custom font to the server or it's part of badline client but it appears we found some other houses as we progress over here i really didn't realize wait is this a llama that's been saddled up wow so this llama has got a chest in on it and i don't know you can actually ride this llama you can't move it anywhere I guess you can ride it, but I can't open. I wanted to open this chest. I guess I can't. They've also got themselves a pet turtle here. What happens if you punch a turtle? Do the turtles attack? I actually don't want to hurt a turtle because honestly, that's the cutest thing ever. Although it's kind of just perched on the sand right now. I'm kind of worried for it. 
Wow, this is honestly so wholesome. They've created a little house in the caves. Round these parts, we tax evasion. Well, the English there wasn't exactly correct, but it appears they're admitting that they evade taxes within these Minecraft houses, I suppose. You can't actually go inside any of these houses, although, all right, you can walk inside. Wait, they've got so many good boys here. As you can see, they're all just sitting down. Um, but I bet when I attack one, wait, they, they, they're not even hostile when you attack them. Wow. So this is a trash bin, and I don't know what's down here, but I kind of want to check it out. Oh my god, so they've got themselves a little fire burning down here. They've got some player head right here. Wow, and you can just hop out back into the open. That's This is honestly so wholesome. I love this little play. I remember when I made a video on 1.15, and I thought these things were cactus. cactus. I'm honestly so embarrassed with my lack of Minecraft knowledge. You'd like to think after playing Minecraft for like over six years, I would have some kind of knowledge towards the newer updates of Minecraft, but my knowledge sucks. So I guess they have bamboo here. I don't know if I can break this. I Oh my god, I just broke all of it. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna take some bamboo with us. It looks like a pretty cool block. I, I don't want to rob these guys, but oh my god, it's so satisfying when you break it from the bottom. I hope I'm not griefing these guys, but I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm farming some bamboo. I'm farming some bamboo. And just because I'm a good guy, I think it grows back on its own, so I'm gonna place them back down. So hopefully they grow back into huge bamboo sticks. So I've decided to go back to spawn because I want to check out some of the warps. So as you guys know, we've already been to crates. So on Zaluria, they have their own market where I guess, as you can see, you can just put items up for sale. You can buy, sell items, and it looks like you can even rent property. It honestly may be a good idea for me to rent some place rather than building my own creation. I'm honestly the worst at building. Like, it would be a better idea for me to grab some of you guys and bring you onto the server to build for me. Because I feel like if I start building my own designs, I'm just going to get so many dislikes on my videos. They're so bad. So before anything, I have one command for everyone watching this video. So you're going to want to type slash warp newbie. Now the reason for this is basically because you can just walk straight and get all of the information about the server you need very simply. So as you can see everyone with bad intentions make sure to not log into the server because there is zero griefing on this server. I know creeperman58 right now I know you're watching this. I know you want to hack on this server. It's not allowed okay. It's not allowed. Now they actually have jobs on this server and this is one thing I want to do. So I'm going to just enter a random job. As you can see they offer a pretty big selection Election. So they've got all of the kind of tool jobs. So like mining, hunting, and a lumberjack. But they also have zoologist. And they also have like a chef. Uh, they also have builder, which is quite funny. But it basically, if you manage to max out or get to level 100, the perks are actually pretty OP. Like for example, you, you can change any spawner to a passive mob with spawn eggs. If you get level 100 zoologist. You can also get access to slash strength if you manage to level 100 hunter. Which is probably something I'm probably going to go for. I think hunter is easy easiest for me and it's probably the best. So like some other servers, there is zero tolerance on admin shops or players getting items spawned in from staff. It's a very normal economy with very fair rules. Now, before I show off the speed fault default texture pack in a single player world where you can see everything, and I tell you exactly how you can get your hands on this brand new texture pack. I wanted to quickly add that I'm going to be playing on this server. And over the next couple of days, I'm going to be grinding my own town and beginning to create my own city and little empire on this server. Now, I want as many of you guys to join me. And during my live streams, I'm probably going to bring some of you guys on here. But I'm also going to be hosting a PvP event in this Warp PvP Coliseum. Now, I want to ask if there's any YouTubers out there you want me to challenge, you want me to bring on to 1.15.2 because you think I'm better than them, then let me know in the comment section down below and I'll bring on one YouTuber to fight in my next video. But anyway, let's get into the single player world. Before we jump into all the textures, I wanted to briefly show you what the GUI, the inventory, the hearts look like. So as you can see here, we're on a very flat world and when I press F1, this is what the hearts look like and the armor. I think the whole GUI just looks great and even the inventory, the inventory looks so clean. I'm just in love with this pack. So as you can see, I've enabled shaders. I think this gives the pack the credit it deserves. I think with shaders, it just looks unbelievable. But essentially, this is all the blocks from the pack. So the crafting table, the TNT, I think the TNT is slightly textured. But for the most part, a lot of these blocks are default. So as I'm walking out of the cave here, this is what the armor looks like. This is what the sword looks like. And as you can see here, this is what it all looks like on the floor. So we have the sword here, which honestly, I'm in love with. We have the default fishing rod, which looks very clean. We also have this gapple. Now, this gapple reminds me of the infinite gapples. I really liked them then, and I think this looks really clean now. Then we have the instant health potions. I think they just look very default and very clean. And the ender pearl matches the GUI, which 
which I really love. And the bow animation is very cool. I really like the particles in this pack as well. They're kind of like a dark brown, which I think don't really get in the way too much. I just think they're just enough that you can see you're critting somebody without the particles being in your face a bit too much. Now, this is what it's going to look like in the caves when you're mining those diamond ores. I really love the simple design for these ores because they're very similar to a lot of default ores, but I think he's added like some kind of gradient throughout because they look slightly altered. Like the gray just doesn't look the same as normal. All the ores look extremely clean. I'm very happy with the job Tori has done. Moving on, this is exactly what the nether looks like minus the creeper, which is going to be punched into lava if I can punch it. I love the particles in this pack so much. I just think they look so clean. So this is what it's going to look like when you're exploring in the nether. All in all, I'm very happy with the pack. Now, I wanted to quickly add that there's probably going to be several changes made before we make this completely public. Now, for everyone wondering, how can I get my hands on this pack, Such Speed? Me and Tori plan on releasing this pack within the next two weeks. However, I'm going to be releasing it earlier in my Discord server to a selected few amount of people. So make sure to join my server to stay up to date with that. I'm probably going to make an announcement within the next couple of days on how you can get your hands on this Such Speed default texture pack. But aside from that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah.